Hi again, I just want to have another quick chat to you about the thornless roses. As I said previously, thornless roses are considered to be 95 to 100% thorn free, which makes them extremely appealing to work with in the garden. Now some people might think that they're just too good to be true, they can't be beautiful, they can't have the scent and be thorn free as well. Um, that there's got to be something wrong with them basically. Well I can assure you that's not the case. At one point some people thought that uh, thornless roses may have been more prone to disease but that's simply just not true. They're not immune to disease but neither are your regular varieties. So you've got no more to lose when purchasing a thornless rose than your regular rose. Both uh, have equal risk is, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so in the long and short of it if you buy a thornless rose and you line it up against a regular rose, both are beautiful to look at. Both have lovely perfumes, only difference is one has a lovely smooth stem. So I'll show you the stem on this one so you can see for yourself. This is one of our thornless varieties. Gorgeous white petals, lovely light fragrance and if you run your finger up and down, not a thorn in sight, thorn free. I'll compare it for you to one of your regular varieties and you can see for yourself you can see those nasty thorns and they are sharp and they would really be quite painful if you accidentally scraped against against one of those so I'm not saying don't buy them because you can get some beautiful beautiful roses with thorns but if you are buying roses for a garden that's going to be frequented by young children or the elderly or people that just have more fragile skin and can't afford those cuts and scrapes you might a thornless rose might be a better option for you anyway that's all I have to say I hope you're enjoying your day see ya